In this quick tutorial, you will learn how to make inner and outer glow effect in Adobe Illustrator. And we will also learn about neon glow effect and gradient glow effect. There is also a bonus in the end of this video, so watch the complete video to fully master this skill. First create the background by selecting the rectangle tool from your toolbar. Click and drag the cursor on your artboard to create background. Remove the stroke color and set the gray fill color. Now lock this background by selecting it and go to object, lock, selection. Select the type tool and add text to your design. Let me also create a shape so you can easily understand this effect on both. Now I have both text and the shape selected. Go to effect menu, stylize and now choose from one of the glow options, inner glow or outer glow. Let's first apply the inner glow effect to our object. The inner glow adds glow from the inside. Make sure to check the preview box to see the result while trying out different settings as you apply them. You can adjust the glow setting to achieve your desired glow result. You can choose the blend mode. Blend modes allows you to change how colors interact with each other. For a glow that most accurately represents your chosen color, just set the mode to normal. I have explained these blending modes in a previous video. You can find the link here in the i button and also in the description. Click the square color box to the right of the mode drop down. A color selector will appear. Choose a color for your glow. Click OK once you have chosen your color. Adjust the intensity of the glow using the opacity option. By using the blur option, you can adjust the area our glow will occupy. You can also choose where your glow should start either from center or from edges. Now let's use the outer glow effect and see the difference between the two. Outer glow adds glow to objects from the outline of the shape. Adjust the glow setting. Here are what both glow effects look like. If you want to edit the glow effect, go to window menu and choose appearance. Click on the glow effect to reopen the dialog box, where you can adjust the settings. Simply click the link labeled and the box will appear with all of your settings as you previously select. If you would like to remove the glow, for example I want to remove the outer glow entirely, I will then highlight it in the appearance box and click the trash icon at the bottom right of the menu to delete it. Now let's make a gradient glow effect. Go to gradient panel by double clicking the gradient tool and choose your favorite gradient color for your shape. Now go to effect menu. These are some photoshop effects that are also available in adobe illustrator. Choose blur and gaussian blur. And move the radius slider to the right to increase the value. If you see this type of box where boundary is defined then go to effect and choose document raster effect setting. And instead of 36 pixel, type 720 pixel, which is the maximum value you can add around an object. Now just move the shape and press Ctrl Z to move it back and our gradient glow effect is ready. Now let's make a neon glow effect. The neon glow effect works better with outlines rather than filled objects. Select your text and change the fill color to none. Then select a stroke color for your shape. Increase stroke to make the effect more obvious. Go to effect menu, blur and gaussian blur. And move the radius slider to make the background for neon effect. Now go to edit, copy and paste in front. Now remove this gaussian blur effect and decrease the stroke to normal. Now you can see our neon text effect is ready. It gives a softer look as well as a more realistic neon effect. I hope you have learned all about glow effect in Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos like this. The bonus I mentioned earlier in this video is that you can download this complete file from the link given in the description of this video. So don't forget to check that and also give me a favor by subscribing to this channel. That's all in our part 40 of Adobe Illustrator Zero to Hero Complete course and I hope you all have enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to master in Adobe Illustrator. By the way, if you have not seen our earlier videos, please take a look. This course is especially designed for those who are brand new to Adobe Illustrator. It covers everything in full detail. Link is given in the description and first comment. That's all for today. See you in part 41.